If you gather matter together in the universe, you can say, well, what shape will it take? Well, if it's rock, the rock is happy being a rock. Okay. Most asteroids just look like rocks. True. Some of them may be Idaho potatoes, but they're not spherical. Right. Because they don't have enough gravity to overcome the rock. Above a certain size, the gravity of all the material overcomes whatever the rock wants to do by itself. Mm. And the high places, the material will fall into the low places, mm -hmm. and this will continue until basically you have a sphere on your hands. Look at that. So, one of the criteria for the definition of a planet uh -huh. is, is it big enough to be a sphere? Right. Pluto satisfies that criterion. No, there are other rules, Pluto fails, but it satisfies that one. Of being round. Be On being round. Uh -huh. It has enough mass for it to structurally, because this is gravity at work. Gravity says, everybody come to the center. Mm -hmm. And there's only one shape that can get the most number of people as close to the center as they can possibly be, and that's, and that's a sphere. A sphere, right? Exactly. Pluto's moon is even a sphere. Wow. Charon. Let's keep going. The sun. Mm-hmm. It's got badass gravity. Yes. And it's got gas. Yes. It's holding on to its gas. <laughs> the sun holds generally holds its gases. Yes. Occasionally there are effluences, which we call solar flares. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. So, well, the gas. It's trying to get to the center of the sun, too. Everybody's trying to get to the center of the gravity. The shape that results from that is a sphere. Okay. Period. That's it. So 